Hey everyone, Zilf May here. I'm super stoked because I finally got my Intuos Pro paper tablet in the mail. I uh, missed it on Saturday even though I was home. And that's a long story. I was very mad. But it's here now. So I wanted to open this for you guys. Mostly for me. And then I'm going to play around with it for like the rest of the day. So here we go. Kind of a big box for uh, how thin these things are. So the reason the reason that I'm getting this new tablet is because I had a tiny little bamboo fun for probably ten years, and it just finally died. Uh, the device itself still works probably, but they don't make the driver for Windows 10. So there's no way for me to actually set it up and use it. Bubbles. Oh God, there's a lot of them. They're everywhere. Oh, there's the box. It's so pretty. Oh, it's heavy. And here is the pretty box. Got some fancy artwork there picture of what all's in the back but um because my old one was no longer usable because i got a newer computer with windows 10 on it uh i broke down and bought one of these guys so i could still have access to doing art things and um i'm pretty excited i went ahead and spent the extra little bit of money and got the intuos pro paper edition because what little i saw online when I looked up reviews about it, looked really super awesome. Uh, it looks like you can draw straight on paper with a special pen that they give you and like essentially do your inking and it will pick up what you are drawing. And um, apparently there's some kind of functionality where you can draw in layers and have it load into the program that way. And that's beyond awesome. So I wanted to play with that. Um, how do you open this? Try to get this open without cutting up the box. Saran wrap plastic. There we go. This is a fancy box. Oh, I'm so excited. This just kind of, oh, it opens like this. Fancy. This side's heavy, so I think the tablet's in here and the goodies are in here. So on the inside, I'm going to show you upside down. It just has some pretty parrot drawings. Kind of cool. Let's open the less exciting part first. What is in here? I don't know because it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, there's a bigger picture with more birds. A big box with more birds. He opens up this way. All right. So we've got, I believe this is the ink pen. Oh, he's tiny. That worries me a little bit. That's got to be like a point to, you probably won't be able to see this, but that point is so tiny. It's non-existent. It's a nice looking pen though. It's metal and it has a nice weight to it. And a subtle grip, so there's still something, but it's not going to, like, interrupt your ability to draw or anything. So I have that problem sometimes. Um, I'm guessing this is instruction manuals, more instruction things. This is the clip that you use to hold your paper to the tablet when you use that function. And then I think this is just a pencil bag. Ooh! It's got dividers and little pen loops. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's little pen loops in there and then like a divider. This is a really fancy pencil case, but I guess it is made to like hold your new pen and your tablet pen and your nibs, probably. Fine, we won't zip that, that's fine. That's just fine. 
And we're gonna close that, set it aside, stay. And open the other box. This one is bright and colorful. Oh, it's so pretty. There it is. Just in there being beautiful. I'm really excited for this one because the bamboo fun that I have, or that I had, didn't have this many controls on it and it didn't have the little round scrolly dude. So I'm excited to get to play with those. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. It's a nice solid metal. That's really nice. The bamboo fun that I had, which, like I said, is over 10 years old. But the bamboo fun that I had is plastic. I mean, it's a, it's a durable plastic, so I wasn't really worried about breaking it or anything, but it wasn't as nice. This is just metal. This is going to be a really nice surface to draw on. Some quality shit here. Okay, and we got more instructions that I will go over later. The fancy pen. which is supposed to have like over 8,000 points of pressure sensitivity, and that's kind of bonkers. Oh good, it has the eraser nib thingy on the back. I love that, because you can go from drawing here and switch around and just instantly be erasing. It's a nice feature. So that's cool. And then this is really heavy, but this is the base stand and also where the nibs live. If I can get it out of the little plastic thingy. Yeah. But he's just supposed to pop right in there. Just so he has somewhere to live. Which I may or may not use this like this. Um, I have a little caddy I keep all my pens and stuff in. And it travels around the house with me. So I may or may not use this pen thing like this. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll be using this like on a daily basis and need the pen nib. And then the last thing in this box is just the cord that attaches to it. And it is USB-C, which will be nice because my cell phone is also a USB-C, so I'll have extra cords if I ever need them. Also, now I have an extra phone charger cord if I ever need it. But um, I wonder how long the cord is. I'll bet you the box says. <sighs> Giant box, what do you say? Okay, I don't see anything on here. It's got a picture of it, but it doesn't tell me what the length is. I don't know. Mysteries. That's fine. It looks like it's fairly long, though, for how much it's curled up. So, um, so that is my unboxing of the Intuos Pro paper edition. It's the medium size. I don't think I said that before. Um, so far, I'm super stoked to have this. I'm beyond excited to get to use it, and I'm really impressed with the quality and the feel of it so far. Um, I'm so happy that I'm actually getting to hold this. I was so mad and convinced I was going to have to wait a whole nother week to play Ring Around the Rosie with the mail, and I am so happy it's here. So thanks for watching me open this and ramble a whole bunch about whatever. Um, I will be testing this out and checking it out. And then probably in a month or so, I'll post some kind of video giving my review after I have some time to play around with it. Um, I know I was going to work on making some stickers and stuff with it. I wanted to play around with the paper mode and do some comic, some comicking, uh, you know, and play around with what happens if I do all the panels and all the hukudashi on a different layer versus all the line art. I also wanted to do just some traditional artwork with this. And then I know there's a couple of assignments that I have in probably my Photoshop class that this will be really helpful for. So when I get to have more of a feel for how it works, I will let you guys know how I really feel about it. Um, 
So I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much for coming by and watching. 